What is good? Welcome back to Dunk Tip Tuesday. Let's get it. Today I'm going to teach you how to dunk hard, how to yam it. So, one of my specialties has been the yam. Strictly just a one hand dunk, just power dunk. It's something that I want to do, and it's more of a mindset than an actual technique. What I want you to know is you got to be willing to break your hand. I actually did that when I had a backboard dunk that I missed, and it came off my fingertips. I'm reaching for it, and when I lost the ball, I still went to yam it. And that goes to show you my mentality. I didn't even have a ball in my hand and I still went to dunk it as hard as I can. So you have to be willing to break your hand, but you have to have the intensity that you're dunking as hard as you can. That's what's different about me and other dunkers. No, no, neither one is better than the other, but that's just my style. I rather dunk it hard and miss or attempt to destroy it and miss than just land a dunk and complete it. It's just because that's how I enjoy dunking the most. I rather, if I have a windmill, I don't want to catch it and just reach for it and rattle it in. Yes, it's completing a windmill. They're both finishing it and maybe other dunks are super technical. Like for example, if I did a, a 360 behind the back and rattled it in, yes, that would probably get me super hype. But I almost rather just do a behind the back and, and just destroy it and leave out the 360 or just do the 360. That's just me. Let's go! The other key is timing. When you try to do these dunks, you have to get good at the timing because any fraction of an inch that's not a perfect flush, even a perfect flush is not even going to give you that same power feeling is going to throw you off. So if you are at the rim, even if you get on top of the rim, this high above the rim and you push it through the rim a little bit, even if it goes in, it's just not going to have that satisfying power feeling. So the ultimate one is smashing it through, hitting the back rim and having it shoot down. And that comes with timing and it also comes with learning that timing and finishing and pushing it as hard as you can. So not only are you going, you're not trying to go straight down, it's a perfect angle that you will feel and you could try low rims to get that feeling in your muscle memory. But again, it's just attacking the rim. Now lastly, there are some things you can do to help you launch yourself into a power dunk. For example, I like the lobs that are here. Not only do I jump, but I'm loading that up to dunk it. If the ball is super close to the rim and I'm jumping head at the rim, the most I have is here to put the power down. But if the ball's here, I have all this power. Even if it's just from here to here, more power. You get it, right? And if it's coming off the backboard, that's why I dunk those so hard. Because they're loading my, my, they're loading my dunk up. Boom, like this. So much torque. That's why I love the windmill, because I'm literally winding it up. To destroy it. But again, I'm not trying to just do it as fast as I can and finish. Look at the difference. Cheer it and then finish, right? I'm not doing that. I'm trying to wind it up to finish is the strongest part. So the finish is the fastest part. Yes, the more speed you're gathering, but I see it as a different cycle of energy. It's literally gathering speed till the finish. It's not get it full speed and everything's full speed. It's winding up to finish as hard as you possibly can. So to me, it's more of an energy, it's more of a mindset, it's more of a way of attacking than it is the way you finish. But yes, there is timing, and yes, there is placement, but that will come from the intensity you bring to the dunk. At the end of the day, ask yourself one question. Are you willing to shatter your hand for a yam? And that's literally the only question you need to ask yourself to figure out if you're gonna dunk it hard. Oh, what's up guys? I'm kind of on injury reserve for my hamstring. I'll get into it, but let me know if this is a video you want to see. Comment anything. I want every single video to inspire you that you are limitless. You can do anything. You can push yourself and to just remind you that every single day you can make progress and it's about staying in that energy so you work your hardest every single day. Mentally, physically, spiritually, connecting to your higher self 
in the dunk world and in life. Let's go.